Well, yesterday went like this. Yeah, I'm so dead. Not a good idea to sleep at 2 in the morning. This has been my entire day. I'm finally going to get you my, my errands today. Dear diary, it's December already. Quote to think about for today. I change best by feeling good, not feeling bad. BJ Fogg. Quite a simple saying, and it feels so true. Something I do not think about enough. Because it's been deeply ingrained in my programming that discipline is important. That responsibilities are important because there will be consequences or else. In the future, I'd like those consequences to be positive. Way to go. I was awesome. I did it. I'm great. And I work hard. Keep going. For now, it's still... Something bad's gonna happen if you don't get this done. I start the morning in debt and I have to prove myself and reach a zero balance. I want my mornings to start on a zero balance and instead have an open heart and blank slate to encounter each day. That's why I love Fever Dream, the song, so much. The words, I want something more than restless mornings. Getting by is so boring. Life is a thing to live. Okay, back to the quote. It also makes me think of my mentality when it comes to working out and eating well, especially in the past years when I try to transform myself into a regular gym goer. My daily workouts would be a short-lived routine, and if I didn't make it, I'd feel like a failure or a letdown, and then the shame would seep into how I felt, especially when I ate or when I looked in the mirror. And over time, I've reached body neutrality, and I'm happy to report that, and I feel good. I'm not saying I don't like gyms at all. There is some merit to them, but maybe if they look cuter. It's so gray, black leather, cement, cold, air conditioning, stiff machines, smell of rubber. Anyway, so today, I feel a little overwhelmed already with everything I need to do, or should I say, things I already feel behind on. So, I'm going to pick my priorities, be realistic about them. Wish me luck. Oh, it's been a while since I've tweezed my brow, so it's super sensitive and it hurts. I'm about to head out to my friend Annie's house. I already had these produce that we could use and I'm gonna bring it over and then I have to stop by to get my film roll developed. Uh, you don't have to have yeah. I got this as a free gift and I don't have the time to run up to my apartment. Yeah. Can I do this with you? I didn't touch the train. <laughs> This is for blanching the spinach. Blanching? Wait. That's fancy. What is this one for? <laughs> this is for you. I'm glad your dream could come true. <laughs> this going in. My hands are already garlicky. Um, any other plates here? I'm gonna mix like garlic and salt and pepper and stuff. I'm all washed up and comfy in bed. I had such a good dinner. It was yummy and it was just so fun. I got to make two new friends, Tam and Maggie, and then Annie hosted us. She's my good friend from high school. And I just can't wait to hang out with them in the future again. So the thing I was supposed to film last time, but then I didn't. I'm going to get up early and film that for a Reformation collab. So I'm gonna head to bed now. See you tomorrow. Good night. Roughly an hour and some, I guess, to prepare everything and shoot. This is my script, for example, to just get out of my head and get a good flow of what I want to say. In the past, I used to improvise everything, and that would end up in like a three hour session of me messing up like 200 times. And now I'm going to get changed, very different vibes in a second, and I'm gonna go climbing with one of my friends.
now we have Pro Climber, Annabelle Gao, hot on the pursuit of this black root. Will she make it? We'll see. <laughs> I can't vlog. Slowly, so I don't want to take too long. Okay. But I can't use the nail grinder. It just takes too much time and then she goes away. Cookie is so nice to me right now. <laughs> I haven't had him that much today. He probably misses some. Yeah. Food. Some human affection, huh? Yeah. Um, butternut squash that was roasted in butter and miso. Oh my god. No! <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 it tastes better than it looks. It's actually very, like, insightful for me. Um, like... <laughs> Speak. Okay. Here. There you go. Okay, I'll lead the way. Is it this way? Yeah. Okay. I realized that today was my first time climbing since October of 2019 and I actually vlogged the last time I went. It was when Luke visited me for my birthday at RISD and we had gone to a bouldering place in Providence and I climbed pretty well for not having done it for two years. You know, as usual, my, what do you call this, forearm <laughs> cramped and just felt really stiff but I was able to climb for like 45 minutes. All oh, right, I brought this home last night. I have another at home COVID test. Ton of stuff in my bag, oh my gosh. Okay, I'm not proud of this, but when I went to the restaurant, I had to grab a wad of toilet paper because I just ran out this morning and I knew I didn't have the time to pick it up tonight. So in my bag, I have some toilet paper to hold me over tonight until I can go shopping tomorrow. It happens, okay. I have my film here. I just realized I forgot to take film photos today. I'm really bad about that because it's already enough to constantly remember to vlog. So I didn't know that Renegade was coming to Brooklyn until last night when one of the girls I met told me that I should check it out. But I also didn't know that it closes at 5. And it was the last 10 minutes and I realized that the Brooklyn Expo building is giant. So I felt like my heart was throbbing the whole time. I was like so overstimulated because I was trying to take in like 50 vendors all at once and try to see all the art they're making and then I felt so inspired and just so overstimulated by all of the amazing creations that were there. And then I just felt really also like 
anxious because I couldn't take my time to visit every stall, which is what I really like to do. I like to like actually not miss a single one of them. And I took a few business cards so I could check them out, but I felt sad because I would have loved to get Christmas presents at the fair so I could support small artists and give my family and friends unique gifts. So it's okay, I know that it's gonna happen every year and next year I'm still gonna go. And it's also a dream of mine to one day be at one of these table sales and have my own booth, my own stall. And well, who knows when that's gonna be, but um, I think that's why it's so, it's so exciting for me to be in this communal space where there's so many artists in all kinds of mediums and then there's the people who love and support crafts and arts and they're all just here and mingling and it was really really fun the 10 minutes okay what i did manage to pick up was a candle from between spaces their website is betweenspaces.com everyone was already packing up shop um, and i managed to nab this little beeswax beeswax candle this one spoke to my heart the most because it almost looks like a flower all the flowers i draw tend to have four petals because it's my favorite number um and then i also have you know pink squiggle things pink wavy things anything so pink blob this is perfect for me then at the stationery store we stopped by i got pasta and it's by Ku Ku Kukuyo. I've been meaning to get back into sketchbooking and just like wanting to light that fire again and I've been really fascinated with like multimedia kinds of loose sketch loose sketching and then I got three calligraphy pens I don't have anything I'm predicting I'm gonna make with it I just felt like oh it's very satisfying and the brush tip is also really nice to get different line thicknesses then I got scissors so this was like kind of an impulse buy at the last second because I saw them thought they were cute and realized you know I've been meaning to carry scissors with me these are small compact and flat and hopefully I can do some collage like I would love to do on the go sketchbooking with more materials like construction paper and then lastly i'm very excited about this actually i got this plastic pouch and this is going to be my new wallet because currently my wallet looks like this and it's really breaking down everyone laughs at me but i'm not going to give this up anytime soon i don't want to buy a thick leather wallet that is bulky and it doesn't fit in my thin bag and i found this ziploc bag really handy and i got this from forever 21 when i was in high school if you go back and watch this video i made it was like kind of a fun musical video called like how to pack or what to pack this was featured in it and that was like seven years ago or something who knows at this point the zipper doesn't even open anymore it ripped and it's just constantly open and there has been three times where all my stuff fell out my like most important factor is it needs to be clear i didn't even realize this but what's cool is inside the main pocket there's two more clear pockets so i can organize more and then on the back there's one more folder here yay i have a brand new wallet now it comes in like five colors as well but i definitely wanted this nice warm green one and that is it for tonight my friend i have something interesting going on that kind of took all of the morning and i was not editing which is why this video is up pretty late today but i'm here thanks for being here and tuning in by the way if you've watched all the way until now leave a comment that says what is something unplanned that's fun that you've done recently okay because i feel like in the last couple of days i had some planned fun things and then there were a lot of spontaneous other unplanned fun moments and one of them happened this morning i'm gonna tell you a little secret i went to look at an apartment okay it was not in the books that i'm going to leave here there's so many different things that happen unexpectedly i'm going to explain blame later of course in thorough detail but for now just know that nothing is set in stone yet and for now i'm going to leave you and see you in a few days thank you so much for tuning in i already said that <laughs> but thank you truly your support means so much to me every single comment thumbs up i appreciate it and i hope that you take care and sleep well tonight i know i will <sighs>